In the previous clip, we had studied two air cycles, that is Carnot cycle and Otto cycle. Today, we will take up the third one, that is diesel cycle, or it is also called as constant pressure cycle, and the study of dual combustion cycle. Now here, this, this cycle is employed in all compression ignition engines which are light diesel engines giving less power, diesel engines with less power. They are working on compression ignition and they are working on this cycle. In this cycle, the PV diagram will be like this. We take a gas uh, that is air, it is only air here. We don't take mixture of air and fuel. It is air which is admitted into the cylinder and it is compressed adiabatically. This is adiabatic process. This is V2. This process is adiabatic process. Then you have the fuel is injected into the hot compressed air here and due to the temperature, high temperature of the compressed air, the diesel, a fine spray of diesel which enters into air, it catches, it ignites and it burns at constant pressure. The burning takes place at constant pressure and then the burnt gases expand adiabatically. This is the adiabatic, adiabatic process, adiabatic expansion and then this is the exhaust process. So it is like this. Now this is called V3. Here pressure is constant. This is a constant pressure process. So 1, 2 is adiabatic compression. Adiabatic compression. 2, 3 is constant pressure heating process. 3, 4 is adiabatic expansion. 4, 1 is constant volume process. There is no heat here, Q is 0 here, Q is 0 here also. Heat is absorbed here and heat absorbed will be equal to MCP into T3 minus T2 here. Here it is MCV into T4 minus T1, heat rejected. Now this minus this divided by this will give you the efficiency of the cycle and the efficiency of diesel cycle, if you simplify, we will get it as 1 minus 1 by R to the power of gamma minus 1 multiplied by rho to the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma into rho minus 1. This is the formula. So here R is again compression ratio, compression ratio as in the case of this thing that is V1 by V2 that is same as Vs plus Vc divided by Vc. Gamma is ratio of specific heats, ratio of specific heats that is Cp by Cv. It is 1.4 even if it is not given you can we can assume it. Rho is called the cutoff ratio, cutoff ratio that is V3 by V2, V3 by V2, that is the volume inside the cylinder when the injection begins and this is the point at which injection is cut off at 3, so this is the cut off point, volume inside the cylinder at that point divided by volume at the point where injection starts that is called as the cut off ratio, so this will give you the air standard efficiency of diesel cycle or theoretical thermal efficiency of diesel cycle. Here we have to do all this and then the whatever you get must be subtracted from 1. We should not, uh, generally the students will do this, this should not be done. First we must do all these calculation, whatever we get here, it should be subtracted from 1 that gives you the uh, air standard efficiency. If you multiply it by 100, you get it in percentage. So this is the brief working of diesel cycle or the constant pressure cycle.
पल्स नेक्स्ट वी टेक अप दी ड्यूएल कंबशन साइकिल और सेमी डीजल साइकिल फोर्थ वन The fourth cycle is dual combustion cycle. This cycle is used in heavy diesel engines in which uh, we have hot bulb ignition. Hot bulb ignition. There will be an ignition coil in the combustion chamber. Uh, it is called as hot bulb ignition the pv diagram for this cycle will be like this you take admit air into the cylinder at pressure p1 and volume v1 it is compressed adiabatically this is adiabatic compression 1 2 then it is only air which is taken here also then it is burnt partially at constant volume and partially at constant pressure then expansion takes place at adiabatic expansion then this thing so this is called as dual combustion cycle because the combustion partly takes place at constant volume and partly at constant pressure it is called as the dual combustion cycle so 1 2 is adiabatic compression q is zero here 2 3 is constant volume process constant volume heating process so q will be absorbed mcv into t3 minus t2 uh 3 4 is constant pressure process again there will be addition of heat it is absorbed it is absorbed this is the heat absorbed t4 minus t3 so this plus this will give you the heat absorbed 4 5 is adiabatic expansion no heat is transferred here 51 is constant volume process here q is mcv mcv into t5 minus t1 right this is heat rejected so this plus this minus this divided by this plus this will give you the air standard efficiency if you simplify that the formula will come like this 1 by r to the power of gamma minus 1 multiplied by uh, alpha into rho to the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma alpha gamma gamma alpha into rho minus 1 this is the formula for that so here again r is same compression ratio v1 by v2 that is stroke volume plus clearance volume divided by clearance volume gamma is cp by cv ratio of specific heats constant 1.4 rho is cut off ratio that is v4 by v2 the new thing is alpha alpha is called uh, pressure ratio or pressure or explosion ratio explosion ratio it will be p3 by p2 p3 by p2 this ratio p3 divided by p2 is what you call alpha so that this formula gives you again here also first we have to simplify this whole thing and whatever we get there must be subtracted from one and then what you get is known as the efficiency to give it in percentage you have to 
uh, multiply this answer by 100. Now, this is in brief the working of dual combustion cycle. This completes the study of air cycles, uh, the theory part of it. Now, in the next video, we shall uh, do the problems or the numerical deal, deals. And uh, you please subscribe and uh, share our channel so that we can improve the quality of our products. Thank you.